Hi, it's Skip Sauntering Snippets once again. On this now getting very chilly day, after having 40s and 50s this past week here in New Hampshire. But something that is just as chilly as it will be tomorrow morning at 15 degrees Fahrenheit is trans authoritarianism. Yep, we've seen this before. Here in New Hampshire, gay marriage came about through a vote of the legislature, as well as the signature of the governor, the governor, when the Democrats took control back in 2006, I believe it was. It took them a few tries to get it done, but it was the culmination of the slippery slope. First, they just wanted toleration for being gay. Then they decided, well, we want gay unions. No, we're not, we don't want marriage. We'll be okay with gay unions where you know, the state will officially recognize it, will have a piece of paper, and maybe some justice of the peace or some very liberal uh, religious leader would, would bless that. Nah, that's all we want. And then they said, no, we want to be equal. That's all we want. We want equality. Funny that word now has been replaced by equity, but I digress. So the Democrats here in New Hampshire, uh, because of the vote of the people for their representatives in our constitutional or representative republic form of government here in New Hampshire, passed the law that said gay marriage is a thing. Okay, there it was. Transgenderism is now being seen as, in my eyes anyways, being the same thing. Except much faster, much harder edged, much more demanding to the point of being authoritarian. You have to accept me for what I am. We're not going to give you a choice. Not only that, you have to tolerate us. Not only that, you have to affirm us. You have to give your blessing to us for our lifestyle and our choices. You have to affirm us for our behaviors in our personal lives. You also have to affirm us that we're basically saying simple biology no longer matters because we're doing this social construct that's just as real as biology. Yeah, I don't think so. Because the left is always using, as you can tell, I'm waiting to stop sign here. It seems like anything that the left wants is always, or protesting is always, always a social construct. Therefore, to be manipulated at any time in the future when their needs or their agenda changes. So, gender becomes a social construct. I can define it any way I want, when I want, and you have to affirm it. I can be a boy today, and you have to affirm me. I can be a girl tomorrow, you have to affirm me. I can be any of what seems to be literally thousands of genders or anything in between, and you have to accept it and give me a hug and basically use my pronouns, whatever they happen to be. And as I pointed out earlier, some people are saying, depending on who I am, you will refer to me as whatever pronouns I've suggested. So if a straight guy is talking to me, you have to use this set of pronouns. If a straight girl is talking to me, here's something else. And it varies as I change my gender fluidity. It's all authoritarianism. It's all meant to make you believe what you know isn't there. But you know, it's basically, we're going to bend your will to ours. It is breaking us down, just like they do at boot camp in the Marine Corps, from what I've been told. Break you down and build you up to be in our image. You will accept our chaos, 
because we're not going to give you a choice. Because if you don't, we will come after you. We will get you kicked out of school, get you fired from your job, we will ruin your reputation, and we'll throw you out on the street. You know, the typical cancel culture, except on steroids. The latest thing that I keep seeing nowadays, other than affirm, which means you must like us, you must like our lifestyle, is I'm hearing that I am in charge of their emotional well-being. I've already discussed that, and I put out the admonition of, if you really want me to be in charge of your emotions to make you happy and to keep you from being sad, well, <laughs> don't be surprised that the law of unintended consequences starts to play a role. Trust me, you don't want to put me in charge of your emotions, because if you do, I will do it very well, and maybe not the way that you want. But the other thing I'm hearing now is a demand for respect. I'm sorry, but these little twits haven't grown up enough to where I'm going to be told by some kid in fourth grade or eighth grade that I have to respect them. They have failed to learn a most important life lesson that they won't understand until they get older, if they even will understand it at any time in the future as well. It's very simple. Respect cannot be demanded. Respect is earned. Anywhere outside the military, where you have to respect the office officer, and even at that, those officers or your ranking uh, NCOs can lose that respect very quickly. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Because when you act the way that you're doing, like sullied, pitiless little twerps, you don't deserve my respect. In fact, when you call me that I'm uneducated, transphobic, xenophobic, homophobic, and by the way, I'm not any of those. I'm not going to get respect you at all. That's just plain being a human. That's just plain being an individual within society. That is one of the worst things because once again, we're seeing the bricks taken out of the wall that holds up society. We've already seen how the left has been taking those bricks out so often it's a wonder that society still is standing. And yet these little self-indulgent, self-righteous little things decide we're going to do some more. You are ours. You are our behavioral source to do what we tell you to do. Not happening. They really do have to learn a lesson. And I think we're starting to see it. I've said we've hit peak woke and we're starting to see that. And we're starting to see see peak trans as well, where people are pushing back. They're starting to say, I'm sorry, we're not putting up with this anymore. And mostly it's because you failed to respect anybody. I'm Skip, and this has been another installment of Skip Sauntering Snippets. Thank you. Crop TV.